welcome to Feedbackular, the show that's all about what you say even when you say we suck, which is often. Coming into the line of fire this week... The Elder Scrolls Online. Bethesda announced the Imperial edition of its upcoming MMO this week. There's a physical edition on sale for $99 and a digital one that'll set you back $79. Buying the Imperial edition will get you a mud crab pet, the Rings of Mara and also let you play as an Imperial, an exclusive race available only to those willing to stump up the extra cash. More on that little tidbit later. Now, the announcement was accompanied by this eight-minute trailer designed to get people more excited for the game. Personally, I thought it was a big bloated CG bum toot, but hey, I'm just one guy who stopped feeling emotions like joy and excitement back in the late 90s. Let's see what you guys had to say. Wow, oh, such a great trailer. Now I want it. Shitty. Video should be taken down for false advertising. Great trailer but I'm not paying a monthly fee to play an MMO ever again. Reminds me of the amazing CGI trailer for Swator. We all know how that game turned out, unhappy face. When they show cinematic instead of gameplay, it is like saying our game is nothing like this. Stay tuned for shitty game. I will be passing this and wait for Test 6 if ever comes out. Ouch. Not much love for the CG trailer then. Kind of understandable in some ways, I guess. People tend to want to see what the actual experience of playing a game will be, rather than a hyper-stylized version of what the game world is meant to represent. I mean, I love Dota 2, I think it's great, but compare this... (laughs) ...with this, and it makes the hyper-expensive trailer seem a bit... redundant? Anyway, whatever your stance, our community wasn't so much bothered with discussing the CG trailer as the nature of the game itself. If I could say one thing about our community, it's that they really like the Elder Scrolls, but not so much them paid subscriptions. Hurry up and get on with Test 6, ain't nobody got cast on MMO. Well, looks like my ESS days are over. I'll stick to Skyrim, I just can't bring myself to buy a game and then pay to play it. Can I play the game by myself and not pay? I rather play alone anyways. Forever alone! You have to buy rent to play it, Parson. Batista won the rumble! Cool, thanks bro. They took Warcraft 3's plot, threw in some pretty CG and are asking $15 a month? No thanks. D-O-A. F2P in a few months. Ha! Broke mofos can't afford to play a quality game. Sad. Guess what? This game is going to cost $60, have a $15 a month subscription fee, plus a pay-to-win feature, a shop. Now, individually, I hate subscription fees, but I'm willing to pay them if I'm not shelling out $60 at the very start. Individually, I don't mind a shop if the game is free to play and there is no purchase fee. I understand that. I, of course, I don't mind paying people for a game well made, however. I refuse to allow a company to milk a game for every red cent possible, and I refuse to play an Elder Scrolls title ruined by a pay-to-win feature. Exclusive collector edition race and triple dip business model? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, to be honest, locking an entire race into a considerably more expensive edition is pretty unfair. Given these people will be paying a subscription fee anyway to play, holding them to ransom to play as an Imperial seems more than a little dubious. Are Bethesda in danger of pricing themselves out of the market? Maybe. If this game gets over 2 million subscribers, then I will get it and play it. Otherwise, see you in the free to play. See what I mean? Riddick123 has pretty much nailed everything I feel about The Elder Scrolls Online. MMOs live and die on how invested they can get users. The lore and environment for The Elder Scrolls Online are both really enticing, but when you add the monthly fee to the initial purchase cost, I fear this game will simply be too steep to get the install base it needs to thrive. Especially considering that install base will be split between three different platforms, PS4, PC and Xbox One. I could be completely wrong, of course, but personally I think Bethesda might be driving away the very people they need for their MMO to survive, and that's worrying. That's my take on it anyway, but what do you think? Leave a comment, send me a tweet, use the hashtag, send a pigeon if you like. See you next week. Bye!